Hello, everybody. This is Joni with the Paperback Exchange Bookstore, 6412 Ridge Road. We have the honor today of having one of our most favorite local authors in the shop, <laughs> not in the shop, on our Zoom page today to do an interview, Miss Sandy Will. Thank you, Sandy, for joining us today. Thanks, Joni, for having me. I'm super excited to uh, interview with you today. Uh, we have uh, three books here at the shop available now from Sandy. We have uh, The Caging at Deadwater Manor, which is your first book. We have The Takings, uh, and we also have the newest one, the psychological thriller, uh, The Replacings. Uh, right. So, so uh, Replacings just came out. Uh, mm -hmm. Caging at Deadwater Manor, standalone book. Uh, can you tell yes. us a little bit about that story so people might be interested in getting it? Yeah, so the... The, the caging at Deadwater Manor occurred because my dad used to work at psychiatric hospitals and I was looking for a dark story to write. Um, and I asked him if he found anything strange or unusual uh, at the psychiatric hospital and told me how he came across quite by accident two human cages in the attic of the hospital. Um, and there was also chains with, um, you know, handcuffs at the end of the, the chain. So they used to be there. They weren't there when, as far as the, the patients were not there when he worked there as far as in the attic, but at some point they had to be. Uh, and then I looked up the history of the human cages and sure enough, they used to use them quite a bit. And uh, so I started thinking about what would that be like to be stuck in one of those cages? And so I wrote the book in first person so you can get a feel of what Jeannie Kind went through as a patient there. Uh, she was also locked away against her will by her father, um, and that was common back then too. Was, it, family was, members. It, was it from you that you were saying when you did the research, some of them had it like a pink and a blue cage up in the attic? Was that from you? Yeah, that my dad said mm -hmm. that they were nursery colors. One was pink and one was blue. They were, you could stand in them. Um, they were the size of a, of a twin mattress. And they had wheels on them so they could cart them around. Um, and they also had straps inside of them. So not only were they caged, but they were also tied inside the cage, at least at times. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah lo <laughs> lots of thrilling and scary stuff going on uh, in, that, in that story. And lots of wonderful awards that you've gotten. Uh, what, what are some of the listed uh, awards that you've gotten uh, for Caging at Deadwater Manor? We've got uh, the Palm... Uh, what is it here? The Royal Palm Literary Royal Palm Award. Literary Award. We've got the Reader's Favorites Book Award winner, and then you've got a couple of more Amazon awards too, right? Yeah, it was the number one hot new release uh, with that book, uh, as well as it's been, you know, in the top ten. You know, it, it varies, but it's been up there in the in the bestsellers list. And when people um, see it on the shelf, it might look a little bit differently. We've got one of the original covers here that's the only one we've got yeah. up right now um uh, but the takings let's talk about the takings this is your next book i'm just gonna mm -hmm. let's see modern day jekyll and hyde psychological thriller that will have you pulling for the madman so we've got an uh um we've got adrian uh, webster who's the real bad guy in this one right and then we've got wyatt uh uh tell us about the takings and how uh, how you came about Right now. Yeah, so uh, the first scene in the in the book is how Wyatt is kidnapped uh, by someone uh, that he doesn't think he knows and um, in, in Green Swamp, which is actually in Polk County here in Florida. I usually base my books somewhere, you know, in Florida so that you can kind of feel like you're at home when you're reading them. Um, but it's it's mostly about this particular person having um, a trauma occur. Adrian had a trauma occur when he was young. Uh, he's having a hard time getting over. And so that's producing uh, another personality with him. And um, though he thinks he's doing something that's right, he's really not, obviously. And um, he's trying to replace family members uh, from the past. So it's, uh, you know, he, what he's doing is disturbing, but at the same time, you know, there's a reason why he's acting the way he is. So it can conjure up some empathy for the villain in this particular book. Got some swamp stuff going on. We've got kidnapping. <laughs> we've got Stockholm syndrome 
uh, uh, eking up on it. Uh, uh, yeah. So the, 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 the sequel or the next book in that series, The Takings, which is your most recent book, here is The Replacings. So this is a little uh, 16 years later. Um, it's actually seven years later. And um, so oh, that's right, 16 year old, that's right, that's it. That's it. Yeah, Sorry. so <laughs> the character is 16. Um, and um, so it's about more about Stockholm, as well as the, you know, personality issues going on main character. And, um, you know, kind of continues the story of the takings, but I did write it as a standalone. So you don't have to read the takings if you don't want to. But if you want to know the backstory of the replacings, it's, it's a good book to read um, first if you can, but you don't have to, you can go right to the replacings. I've made it so that, you know, some of the history is, is in there in the book itself, but so and it continues folks, the story. Folks can find signed copies of your books here. Yes. And let's talk a little bit about other places folks can get your books. You've got, uh, I'm going to do some screen shares here for you. Um, obviously, you're going to be able to find your stuff uh, uh, on Amazon. Uh, right. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's pull that up. We've got here on Amazon, dating at, uh, Caging at Deadwater Manor, of course, and the uh, takings and replacings. Uh, let's talk about Sandy Will books.com or sandywill.com. You've got a little blog going here. Uh, you set up uh, some videos for trailers for your books. So if people want to know what they're about, you've got some reveals on here and a couple of other uh, um, interviews with uh, some other folks. Uh, yes. Available also on Kindle Unlimited. Uh, yes. Uh, Kindle. And then what it, we've got printed copies here. You can get them on Kindle. Um, uh, you, you mentioned earlier when we were talking, uh, we've got hardback copies on the way then. Yeah. Hard, 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 sorry. Hard covers are available, um, for, for all of my books now, which is something new and, um, and for all of my What's for the that? collectors, right? For the hard covers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all of those are now ready and uh, you can order them online. Um, we, had somebody, we had somebody question about audiobooks. Uh, any, any chance of those coming out? Yeah, actually, we just, we just uh, had auditions for the Caging at Deadwater Manor and uh, we did choose um, a voice for uh, Jeannie Kind, which is the main character of that book. And she's working mm -hmm. on it right now. She's hoping to have it out by uh, Christmas time but she wasn't sure 100%, so if not early January. And so I'm super excited. It's, uh, it's just surreal to hear, you know, especially a, an actor, you know, read your story. It's, it gave really, me chills. Really. Not, not just how you hear it going in your head, right? So out there yeah. for the first time, kind of like, like letting your baby go out of the cage, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a very strange feeling when you hear that for the first time. Um, and then we're also auditioning for the takings. So that'll be the next audiobook that's out. And probably that reader will be the same for the replacings, um, being that the characters are pretty much the same. So um, yeah, I'm I'm super excited to hear it every time they audition and, and all the different voices. So and we are hoping. the paperback exchange here, and that is our first true love, but we do have hard yeah. covers as well. And then we do also try to accommodate. Uh, folks that are doing audio books and a few of the movies that match up with different books so maybe someday we'll be able to see one of these in movie form we'll write that some. would be nice That's true. That's true. <laughs> we'll watch we'll watch whether you're talking to the folks at variety magazine whether you're talking to the, any of the uh, movie houses or not <laughs> <laughs> maybe someday but not yet <laughs> so you can contact sandy through her uh dot com here, you can find it there at sandywill.com. You can also uh, uh, get a hold of Sandy through her Twitter page. Again, got lots of great blurbs, uh, little videos, cover reveals. Um, I just watched the video of you uh, opening, uh, doing your box opening with your puppy. Uh, that was kind of that was kind of nice. <laughs> Lost it a little bit because you got uh, all excited, but that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't going in any any way that it should have, which made it even better, actually. <laughs> Sometimes just the candids, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can never plan for that, can you? 
And here's Sandy visiting us in our shop. She comes in every once in a while, dropping off some signed books. Uh, we always love it when any of our uh, local authors visit us here at the shop. Uh, we haven't had a lot of face-to-face uh, -face meetings in the last year, so we're looking forward to right. hopefully being able to start some of those again soon. Uh, uh, but thank you so much for joining us today, Sandy. We just wanted to let people know what was going on with your new books. And what are you working on now? Uh, uh, what have you got in the, in the pipeline? I'm working on a historical time travel slash psychological thriller with a little romance. And uh, oh, it's about Ireland. Nice. I'm going to do a shout out to my friend, Marie. She's always looking for time travel romance books. I'm always digging them up. Oh, good, good. <laughs> so that'll yeah. be perfect for my friend, Marie. Uh, well, thank you so much, Sandy, for joining us. And don't forget to stop by Paperback Exchange here. We've got copies of all of her books. And I know when her new one comes out, we'll have a copy of that, too. Um, I don't have a speed round set up for anybody. Uh, I didn't do any of my studying on that. We uh, we will be pumping this out uh, via our Facebook page, and you'll also be able to catch it on our YouTube page. We have a paperback exchange bookstore YouTube page now, uh, uh, so you'll be able to see all of our interviews with all our, our authors on there. Uh, but thank you so much again, Sandy, for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. It was fun. Take care now. Bye-bye now. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs>